Amherst on this beautiful morning and to our celebration of the LBGTQ month, raising of the flag, as well as the Stonewall anniversary, anniversary of the Stonewall riots. Uh, we have several people here today to speak. Uh, we're going to start by sharing with you the proclamation from the town and the two people who are going to read that are in fact our sponsors and that's Councillor Pat DeAngelis and Councillor Evan Ross. Thank you. So we're going to read the proclamation that the Town Council voted on June 3rd. Whereas Amherst is a community that values diversity and inclusion and is committed to equal rights and opportunities for all residents, and whereas Amherst recognizes the important contributions of its LGBTQ residents to the town's history, culture, economy, and civic life, and whereas we celebrate the accomplishments of the LGBTQ community towards securing important rights and freedoms, often through struggle and adversity. And whereas we remain vigilant against continued oppression and discrimination against the LGBTQ community and against any new political efforts to overturn these accomplishments. And whereas we affirm our support for our LGBTQ residents and stand with them to protect their civil rights and ability to live openly without fear. Now therefore, we, the town council of Am to the town of Amherst, do hereby proclaim June 29th as LGBTQ Pride Month. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Else from the okay. And Connie, I understand you would like to share a memory. So, hi, I'm Connie Kruger. I was just um, so pleased that we have this proclamation. I was like, darn, why didn't I think of that? I was on board. <laughs> and now the flag, so it's a first. It's the first year for the proclamation, the first year for the um, rainbow flag. But I just wanted to share a really happy memory, and I know that Carol and Pat were here that day. But in 2004, the Ma Massachusetts was the first state to legalize gay marriage. And my partner Susan and I were like, we hadn't really planned, we're like, let's go get our license the first day that they were available. And I came into town hall, and others were here, and the then select board was standing in the lobby giving everyone a rose who came in for their license that day. And then after we did our business with the clerk's office, upstairs there was a big cake and a big celebration. So I just wanted to share that because I'm so proud of Amherst. It, it, it is um, a very um, safe, welcoming place for gays, transsexuals, queers, and our allies. If it weren't for the allies, we also wouldn't all be here today. So just showing a little pride in my town. Thank you. Thanks, Connie. And we have Mindy Dom, who not only is here with us for this event, but made sure we got the flag. <laughs> Everything should be so easy to do, actually, um, when you want to do something. Um, I just want to say I'm also very proud of our town. I'm proud that this is the first year that we have a proclamation, thanks to our new town council. I'm glad we're raising the rainbow flag on the anniversary of the Stonewall Riot so we can remember that um, a lot of folks got hurt, injured, and have died so that rights could be achieved and LGBT rights affect all of us. And I'm proud that it means that in the future we can raise that flag for the entire month of June and celebrate it all four weeks. Um, about nine years ago, um, I put out a call on Facebook to see if anybody else was interested in having a candlelight vigil on the town common um, to support LGBT teens in our community. It was at the time when there was a great upturn in suicides of people in that population. And I really felt that our town could do more to visibly show our support. I had been doing a lot of work with health and human service providers around supporting um, gay and lesbian and transgender kids and had learned 
that all it takes is one supportive adult to make a difference, just one, to build resilience and love in folks. And I thought, well, wouldn't that be a great thing for us to have this vigil in the town? And that was my first um, kind of contact with trying to do something with the town around LGBT rights, and it was amazing. I think I might have actually talked to you, Dave, at the time. And it was like, well, talk to Scott, and, you know, get the permit. And everybody was like, not a problem. And they made it happen. And then we had the vigil, and 100 people showed up. And 100 people showed up from a fa Facebook post. It was amazing. Um, including Ellen Story, who I think came back from Boston that day just to be with everybody. Um, and that's the kind of town we have. You can put out a call and people show up, and not only they show up, but they work hard and they um, build resilience for everybody in the community. So I couldn't be prouder, and I'm really glad we're all here today. Thank you. Thank you. So, unless I'm missing somebody who's supposed to speak, uh, why don't we all proceed over to where the flag is, and maybe there's some people who'd like to help raise it.